Good morning and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand, and this is chapter nine of Let's Begin, Let's Just Do It. And this is all about this group that I started um, last week, and um, I'm going to just keep going, and we're going to just do it, and um, I'd really appreciate it if if anybody has any situations that they're in, let's say um, a friendship ended badly or um, something happened that was, you know, hard to, um, hard to deal with, but it wasn't like a traumatizing event for you. Um, let's say, you know, like I said, in my example, it was a traffic um situation where somebody was really close to me and I was afraid to um I'm afraid to go any faster and afraid to go any slower and then they tried to they almost went off the road because they they I had to break because somebody was turning and it, it was just stressful because I thought they were going to hit me so um those types of situations if you happen to know of any um, let's say work situations where it's not a continual problem, but just an everyday example of stress that builds up at work, um, or at home. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of an example, me with our puppy that we have, um, she's just... a handful sometimes. She's seven months old and, um, sometimes she can... Uh, really be kind of embarrassing with uh, like jumping on people and I can't control her and she doesn't listen to me very well. Um, we have to get like better training with her but she's so wound up tight and then the trainers blame me for not exercising her enough and so it's a lot of like blame and shame and you know, it's your fault that she's like this and um, things like that. Um, it, it gets hard on me sometimes. So that'll probably be my next example unless somebody uh, emails me. And it's Kathy's Corners. Um, the email is K-A-T-H-Y-S and then Corners, all one word, is Corners with a C. C-O-R-N-E-S. And then a dot. Seed in the sand at gmail.com. And so if anybody wants to email me some steps of the step one, just to go through every all the steps, um, I don't have them in front of me, so just kind of going off the top of my head. Step one is the situation, like what happened. Step two is um, how did that make you feel? I feel statements. I feel as, um, let's say, with the with the dog. Um, I feel really, um, what's the word? Frustrated. I feel really sad. I feel really embarrassed. I feel really um, out of control when the dog acts out in front of other people. And it's embarrassing because I don't have good control of the dog. And trainers blame me for not um, having her be under better control. And so then step three would be, um, okay, so we have this rosary. I think everybody's seen this rosary and it's broken to pieces. Tell me about how you feel that disconnection, that separation, um, that, that, I don't want to say brokenness, but, you know, like when, when things break apart, um, um, and, and they're not feeling connected, they're not feeling together, they're not feeling, um, a part of something you're feeling kind of isolated and alone and so that's part three part four is um tools what tools can we use to bring us you know like bring that situation back together again in the future maybe it won't happen overnight but it'll happen if you keep using tools and using those tools. And I've gone through many tools through past videos of, you know, buckets and um, volleyballs coming at your head. And um, what else? Oh, I'm thinking, um, 
you know, baby steps. And I'm thinking those, you know, just using your muscles to, to get through the situation, just using your physical muscles. Um, what's another example or tools? Um, you know, just do your part and let it go. And, um, you know, just different things like that. And um, so then step five would be, I think it's an oracle card. Um, you ask for an oracle card and I will give that to you. Step six is, um, how can we come back together again? Like envision yourself with yourself being together as that rosary came together somehow by itself. Um, I think God did that. Um, God or Mary or someone, Jesus put that together again. And <clears throat> so, um, how do you envision yourself like being a piece of this beautiful rosary that comes back together again? How do you f see that being a whole? And then part seven is you expect a miracle. I say out loud, God, I proclaim and declare that a miracle will touch my situation, touch my life, touch my my loved ones, touch my pets. A miracle will touch us. So those are the seven parts. And I hope those made sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have it written down, but I never have that in front of me. Um, but that's that's my, my little uh, group program and uh, so if you want to email me something with those seven steps uh, just let me know if not I will do the puppy so all right uh, so these are the healing spirit cards um, just so everybody knows I'm not a medium I don't do readings <laughs> I don't read the future um, somebody asked me about their love life I'm like no this is this is just for healing um, just just healing spirit cards and I just pick a card for all of us not for any one particular person unless you're doing an example then I would pick for you um, so um, the intention I'm setting today is to get some emails to get some people involved to get people that say you know what I want to share I want to share anonymously I don't want to like get traumatized or or have anything this is just everyday examples but um i want to share okay so this is a the card oh i think i've seen this one before let's just share the gift and share the gift share the gift sorry my eyes are yeah, it's kind of blurry today. You have a healing ability within you, and you know this because you can feel the, per the pain of others. Spirit healers and helpers are always working with you when you use your special abilities for yourself and others. There will be times when you will feel their power, and other times when you will feel the power, the power is coming from you. It truly doesn't matter who builds the power of healing. It is more important that it is shared. Call upon the healing spirits to work with you now and allow your ability to become a great gift to be channeled and used to heal. That those who channel the healing power, oops, sorry, those who channel the power of healing spirits are true light workers. What's the new one? Hmm, you okay? Sorry, checking on the dog. Um, those who channel the healing spirits are true light workers. And, you know, that's, if I'm going to channel, I want to channel healing. I want to channel goodness. I want to channel good, um, powerful things from God. And um, that's what this is all about. So if you ever feel the hmm, urge, I guess you could say, to share anonymously i won't leave your name i won't um you know do anything that would embarrass you in any way i would just read what you wrote um and um share anonymously with me we can do an example together 
All right. I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day. Go celebrate um, our freedom. Celebrate those who gave us our freedom. And um, make sure that we all... Oh, Daisy came to say hi. Hi, Naughty. Yeah. So we all have... Uh, we all have lives to live, and, and uh, we all have uh, a reason to be here. And we all have um, special gifts to share. So, all right, I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day.